Morelli outside, Elan looking for the run through from Victorlic and then top of the Silks. With 200 to go, Morell and Shackle racing to Sudan and Miss. Sudan and Miss fighting back and Elan at last gets a run on the inside. Shackle put its head in front with 100 to go, however, from Sudan and Miss. And Shackle's going to win it, a nick to Sudan and Miss and a nick to Elan third. Fourth was either Damsel or Victorlic, followed then by Cammy the outside. Back uh, behind those horses, show them Sadie. Then came Inchidoni and Danique and English Mint in that bunch of horses. Further back, top of the silks and Mania is back behind them and one of the last home fold away. Official placings in the heat stakes. The judge has called for the photo to separate Shackle on the outside from Sudan and Miss in the centre and Ilan on the rails. And that's the way they're finished. There is no shadow of doubt that Shackle has won the money by about a neck. Uh, there were about six horses there in the finish, but uh, that'll go the way I suggested. In fact, there it is now. Number seven is the winner, Shackle, ridden by M. Johnston. Second placing to number five, Pseudonym Miss, H. White. Third, number six, Ilan, ridden by D. Gauchi, seven, five, and six. Seven is the winner, Shackle, a brown filly by Luskin Star from Impede. And Shackle is raced by the New Haven Park Stud Syndicate. The manager, Mrs. J.W., F.J. and R.J. Kelly and J.H. Ingham. Trained by D.L. Friedman at Flemington and ridden by M. Johnson. Number five, Sudanum Miss, H. White second. Number six, Elan, D. Gauchi, third. Officially fourth, Victorlic. And the fifth in the race was Damsel. Now, the fourth race today. From a race start time uh, at Gosford, we might uh, join our caller for the next at Gosford. Distance hand handicap, race five. They're all set now. About to go. 2100 the journey. Set to run. Line looks pretty good now. Starting at the top of the home straight, just over a lap of the course to run. Line looks good from here, they're racing now. And near the centre, Prince Gaz and also Bonds were the smartest away. Northern Era began well. So did Bold Star and going through was Timpani and Carlos Scope was handy and then El Razuli. Uh, Prince Gaz getting back in the field now with Silk and Prince Ben Battle and Young Beaches as they come down the home straight on the first occasion where Bold Star has taken up the running a length to Carlos Scope. Third on the rail is El Razuli and four Timpani. Two to Carlos Scope getting up on the inside now of uh, close handy to that Bonds and then a length and a half to Bold star. Further back was Nushi and then coming out Signature and Ben Battle then Silk and Prince and Prince Gaz cut the cards. Uh, he's got up to be about fourth last now and Young Beach is back at the tail with Dad's Dream. Running over towards the 1400 metre mark now and the leader is Bold Star. Out of half length to Northern Era the outside. A length away third El Rasuli. Two lengths away then to Carlos Scope over on the inside of Timpani and Tudor Bonds. They've clapped on the speed a little bit here now increasing the tempo. Cut the cards has moved up the centre field and then Nushi followed by Ben Battle and our signature. Two and a half to Silk and Prince and then Dad's Dream Young Beaches and Prince Gaz was last of all. Over the past the thousand metre mark and the leader is Bold Star by length and a half Northern Era. Bonds has gone up to third on the outside of El Rasuli. Timpani behind them. They're followed by Carlos Scope and the next one Ben Battle and Nushi. Two length Silk and Prince cut the cars shut away on the rail. A length to Young Beaches and then our signature second last Dad's Dream and last of all under the whip was Prince Gaz going up towards the uh, 600 metre mark now, and the leader is still Bold Star. Three quarters of a length to Carlos Scope, two lengths away then to El Rasuli on the rail, three wide Timpani, and there followed handy to it by Bonds, a gap to Nushi. On the fence was Carlos Scope, now as they come up towards the home turn, further back Silk and Prince cut the cards, are still a mile back on the turn from Young Beaches, our signature and Ben Battle. Bold Star leads for home, he's kicked out two and a half now, Northern Era second, followed by El Rasuli, Timpani on the outside, and then Carlos Scope, followed by Nushi and cut the cards but Bold Star still in front of the 100 Timpani getting into second place 
going. And then Carlos Cooper in front. Bold Starry stopping. Now Timphony's grabbing him. Timphony going home right over the top of it. And Timphony gets up to beat Bold Star. El Rasuli possibly third from Northern Era and Carlos Cope. Then Silken Prince and Cut the Cards Nushi. The head of the others then. A long way back, Young Beaches with Bonds, Dad's Dream and Prince Gaz. The last couple, our signature and Ben Battle. Timphony, that was ridden by entirely the New Zealand uh, the boy and he uh, came home very strongly there you can see in the yellow colours to get up and score number nine Timpany nine dollars twenty five and one eighty five second number seven Bold Star one dollar ninety and third number eleven El Rasuli and it's going to pay twelve dollars forty five which makes for a pretty big trifecta to come up in race number five on the card Milan one dollar ten, Quinella twenty one seventy, trifecta one hundred and eighty dollars seventy cents. Today's racing telecast is another Carlton sporting coverage. Go for the greatness. Now the extra double Blazing Jones and Joe on the inside and moving around it, La Moulin Rouge. They were followed by Easy Access and then Starley as they buffered up for positions. Towering order going through on the inside. Chisler's wide and between runners was King Shadow. A length and a half to Wizzy Mo, followed by Sretan. And last of all is Speedy Cheval, but trapped three deep. They work on the side now, coming down past the 1,200 metre mark. And here the leader is Blue Light. Blue Light shows out prominently by a length and a half to in second placing, inching a little closer, La Moulin Rouge. Easy Access pulls its way to third with Towering Order together from Jones and Joe. Chisler next, followed by Star Lee, ridden along. Then further back on the inside was King Shadow. A half then on the outside of Speedy Javel joins in with Sretan and one length away last of all Wizzy Mo, who'd be about six or seven off the lead. Racing down the side now, going to the 650 and the leader Blue Light. Three quarters of a length to nearly a length in advance of Le Moulin Rouge inching to it. In third position, Towering Order, Jones and Joe making ground and so too is Easy Access but it's been a bit deep for most of the way. They were followed in that division too by in the inside of horses Sretan. Around it came Star Leach. Easy access dropped out very quickly to the tail. Chisler to the outside. Wizimo winding up with on the outside Speedy Cheval and King Shadow the rail. A compact field with Blue Light still the leader at the 200 metre mark. Two lengths in front now of Chisler coming at it with Jones and Joe. Here's the danger out very deep. Speedy Cheval rounding them all up. Speedy Cheval swamps on Blue Light getting close to home and it started to draw away for young Stokes. It'll win it comfortably, very easily indeed. It'll be very tight for the Miners. Oh, second could be Wizimo with Chisler. There's not much between them and only inches away fourth will be Jones and Joe. Then Starley followed further back by La Moulin Rouge. Blue light stopping from towering order. Then further back in the field came Sretan and they were followed well back behind them by King Shadow who beat one home some distance away. Easy access. Speedy Chevelle right down the outside coming home strongly. It was the favourite, 155 and 70. Uh, second and third are almost impossible. Wizzy Mo's the one uh, widest of the others, number two. Whether it's got up there, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it might have got up. It, it and number seven, is it? Chisler, the other one, Wizzy Mo and uh, Chisler. Wizzy Mo is a dollar five, and number seven, Chisler is five dollars. And uh, there's another one there very close on the inside that looks to have just missed a place. But runners in the mounting out. Vic to move into about uh, stall number eight. Elvik being led forward. First leg of the quaddy, dual plan at the top pick. The Elvik goes in and they're all set for a start. Settling in the stalls. There's the lights. Away they go. And they jump pretty well. Dynamic Dancer a little bit slow and nearer the inside. Sea Legend first out from Fordyce Paris Tram. Then Honeybridge Normandy Bay. Hippity Hop looking for the lead from the old Vic and they are followed by Metric Turmoil Cades Flash. A length Dynamic Dancer on Chanteur and Jewel Planet second last Flash Habit last. Heading up to the 1400 and Honeybridge about a length in front of Hippity Hop going up on the outside from Sea Legend Fordyce the Rails Cades Flash. Jewel Planet's eased around them to be about third or fourth now and they all followed by Normandy Bay on Chanteur. Then uh, followed further back in the field, Metric Turmoil, Dynamic Dancer caught very deep from Paris Tram, the old Vic and Flash Habit. Over the hill, Enchanteur continuing that run has taken up the lead at the 1200, a half length now to Hippity Hop. Wonder Jewel Planet and they were followed closely by Dynamic Dancer racing round the outside. It's chopping and changing, they're followed by Honeybridge tucked in on the inside. Then Cades Flash, Metric Turmoil, a length further back, Sea Legend and Normandy Bay. Two to four dice, hard ridden from Flash Habit, Paris Tram under the whip and the old Vic. 
Down past the 800, Dynamic Dancer, the leader, about a length, Jewel Planet, Metric Turmoil. Here's Four Dice out wide, and Honeybridge getting clear from Sea Legend. Hippity Hop dropping out of it. On Chanteur, hard ridden, and Normandy Bay trying to thread its way through the field from Cade's Flash. On the corner, 500 out, Dynamic Dancer grabbed by Honey Bridge, who's taken the lead from Jewel Planet, coming at them from Four Dice. Flash Habit off the track, running on well. Normandy Bay trying to get out at the head of the others, and then Metric Turmoil. Honey Bridge the leader into the straight. Jewel Planet got up inside it to tackle it, and Normandy Bay bullocking clear from Sea Legend. Jewel Planet just the leader from Honey Bridge at the 200. They're both under the whip. Coming at them is Sea Legend on the inside. It's Jewel Planet and Honey Bridge. Sea Legend coming at them quickly. Sea Legend tackling them. Honey Bridge put its nose in front. Sea Legend grabbing at the outside. Sea Legend's won it by a head to Honey Bridge, a half head to Jewel Planet. Fourth, the Old Vic from Normandy Bay and then Fordyce. Next, Hippity Hop and then Paris Tram. They were followed further back in the field by Flash Habit, Dynamic Dancer, and then came on Chanteur, Cades Flash, and uh, Metric Turmoil. A ah, great finish indeed was the show, Royal Show Handicap. The judges call for a photo for all placings to separate Sea Legend on the outside from Honey Bridge in the centre and on the rails, Jewel Planet. That's the way they'll finish after a real thriller in the Royal Show Handicap. Number nine is the winner, Sea Legend, ridden by M. Clark. Number nine, Sea Legend, M. Clark first. Number six, Honey Bridge. Mark Riley second. And number one, Jewel Planet, ridden by D. Short, was third. Commit at $2.90. Shush. It was about 20 to 1 early in the tape. Long odds. Come into 2 dollars and 125. It's landed a plunge. Honey Bridge second, 185, and Jewel Planet third paid 90 cents. Now the winner of the Royal Show handicap, number nine, Sea Legend, a brown gelding, four-year-old, by March Legend from Scoring, raced by Mrs. L. Alderson, trained by C. Alderson at Cranbourne, and completed a riding treble here today to Michael Clark. Second number six, Honey Bridge. Mark Riley, third number one, Jewel Planet, D Short, officially fourth, the Old Vic, and the fifth, Normandy Bay. Now the next race, the big one of the day, the Marlborough Cup, there are no scratchings. Race six, the How Now Handicap, take out five Stylish Wish, and 18 Almost Paradise. Gee, that's been a tremendous shortener on the total, Isaiah. Last, well, not the last time, but I did look at it 10 minutes after the start. It was 15 to 1 on the tape. I think it was longer earlier. And it's come in to pay 290, which is uh, odds of uh, 9 to 2. So um, there's been plenty of money won on that. The extra double, incidentally, 3 and 9, $19.30. $19.30. There's the head on shot again. That's Sea Legend pegging back. Jewel Planet, the rails, Honey Bridge, the centre. Kind of be a little bit green, Sea Legend. And uh, Clark had his hands full, but the skilled operator that he is, uh, he was able to get it straightened a couple of times it ducked in, get it straightened and galloping in time to get up and score from uh, Honey Bridge. The trifecta on the race, $345.95, $345.95, Quinella $40.60 on race four, the Royal Show Handicap, first leg of the Quadrilla. Now the big one of the day, the Marlborough Cup, all starting, Lord Galaxy $12.35 for $70, Luther's Luck $7.75 and $2. Testimony 1675 and 420. Avon, uh, between ourselves, 23095 is the favourite. Avon's Lord 2485, 1030, and that will be correct weight, I should imagine, coming through now. Correct weight it is. Weight's right, correct weight in the previous event. Numbers 961, the winning margin, half a neck, half a length between second and third, the time 150.7, correct weight. Now we're down to Avon's Lord. 2485, 1030. Kenny Lass, 380, 145. Taj Quiller, 280, 130. Old Acquaintance, 1310, 365. French Cotton, 1370, 375. Aiming, 1110 and $2.90. Miner's Man, 1645, 365. River Crossing, 1885, 530. 
Toneville 11.53.10, Avenotto 16.50 and 3.80, True Style 14.55.4.10, Rebecca Gay 5.70.170, Bataan 5.05.175 and Seeker Fortune 17.45. For the win, the wind pool just on the 150,000. Place pool almost 100,000 on the big one of the day, the Marlborough Cup. Going to be a great race. Let's find out what Jenny, Keith and Roy have to say about it. Yes, well, I hope our guide from the mounting yard was of some advantage to you, uh, particularly those betting late to have something on Sea Legend. I think you found it a place, Jen. Yes, I backed it each way, actually, so that's Did you? All right, yeah. And you did too, Roy? Yes, I, I thought, uh, you know, as he was coming into a race over a bit of ground that would have suited him, and uh, uh, he, he's a good horse when he's right, Sea Legend, and he looked very strong. He, he got struck over the head a couple of times near the winning post, but still good. That's our thought from the mounting yard on uh, the feature event here today, the Marlborough Cup. At Gosford, uh, they're almost set for a start. Race six, we'll join our caller for the Carlton Cup. Set the run. Oh, it looks good from here. They're off and racing. Lunch in Paris near the inside and trog away pretty well from Lord Reason. The Ember Man got away smartly. They're followed by Blazing Cotton. Nosey Parker kicking up on the rail. Glow Munda coming over fast and so too is Senchai looking for the lead. They're followed by Eldai Sun and behind those all chant as well back today. Swift Cheval back third last around the outside and the last two reckless tradition and back with it now as they get probably into stride uh, was uh, Phoenix Empress over the back. About 1100 metres left to go and Senchai has raced around Glowmunda to go to the lead. Two lengths to Altai Sun, a length and a half lunch in Paris. All chance made ground quickly now. He's moved up into about fourth around lunch in Paris. Close handy there, Amber Man. Then Blazing Cotton followed by Nosy Parker, a length of Deed Star two to Swift Cheval around Trog. Then Lord Rees well back in the field and the last two, Phoenix Empress and Reckless Tradition. He's kicked away on this leader at the 650. Senchai, he's opened up a big break. He's five lengths now to Glowmunda and Altai Sun, a length and a half lunch in Paris. Paris is under the whip at this stage. Moving around the outside of him was all chant and between runners there, Amber Man. Although they got uh, shuffled back slightly there as Blazing Cotton rushed around the outside. Amber Man's not travelling at all well. Nosy Park has gone past him and they're followed by Deed Star. Still a long way back as Swift Cheval with Trog and all chant will run nearly last. Into the straight, Senshire headed up two in front. Glowmunda second from Aldi Sun on the outside. Nosy Parker running on well. And further out, Blazing Cotton and Swift Cheval coming from a long way back. Nosy Parker went to Aldi Sun, but here's Swift Cheval bouncing on them. Swift Cheval from last has raced to the lead from Nosy Parker, and Swift Cheval has scored. Swift Cheval wins the Carlton Cup brilliantly from Nosy Parker, and third is Aldi Sun. Deed Star fourth, then Glowmunda lunch in Paris, followed in by Amberman, who failed to run on today. Lord Reese was next and then a break to Blazing Cotton. Senshire knocked up quickly. Behind those runners then was Phoenix Empress with reckless tradition. Old Chant failed to flatter today. He's run second last and Trog last of all. Extra double seven dollars. Swift Chevelle coming from absolute last has won the Carlton Cup at Gosford number five. Swift Chevelle is going to pay $1.75 and $1.10 for the place. Number four, Nosy Parker, $1.35. And number nine, Eltai Sun. Uh, $11.65 for the place. The horse that ran favour of Amber Man was most disappointing there in Sydney. Ben Farris, Mendira Twa last around the corner. The leader's touch of genius, Lockley's tradition from Wingkeel. Trishell the outside, delightful Bell and then Centauria. Trishell got to the lead at the 300 from Lockley's tradition, followed by Centauria and delightful Bell. Then Wingkeel further back, King Phoenix, but it's Trishell in front as they get near the post, drawing away from Lockley's tradition. And Trishell goes on to win a length and a half, Lockley's tradition. King Phoenix flew for third. Playful Princess was fourth. Then came Wise Call and behind them... Yes, the it was Colin Bell. Hayes with Tri Shell winning last year's big event, the Marlborough Cup. We'll be going to Adelaide shortly for the first leg of the Daily Double, but the runners are in the mounting yard as we go down now to join Keith Hillier, Jenny Chapman and Roy Higgins. The field being led in by number one, Lord Galaxy, the top weight with 57 kilos. Hunters obviously think they'll take this upcoming race from Adelaide. With a Raffendale, or one took a dive in the middle. Didn't get through, though. Settle again. Should jump. No, he's holding them and attended out deep. Here's another chance.
They're racing this time, fair start. Towards the outside, Dowie away quickly on assignment jump with them, but is getting back an Osprey Riff under the whip already. Fine Roo goes through with Dowie to be a leader, just a slash a close handy with Tavern. Jim Vane Dudley was there, and so too was Amalind. Just in behind them, ace fighter Deedle winding up, and then Twig now well kept, followed by Catcher Gambler. About two lengths further back to Osprey Reef, and just ahead of it was on assignment. At the 800 metre mark, there's a great battle for the lead. Four or five of them vying for it, and they include Tavern Jim, who's the middle pin between it and Vane. Dudley, fine row the rail, then came behind those Amalind, who's right up on the pace, Dowie's kept five deep in that line, there's fine row draws to the narrow lead now, further back just a slasher, Deedle starting to wind up from ace fighter, well kept behind those, twig now the rail and further back catch a gambler on assignment, and last into the straight Osprey Reef, but the leader fine row got away, three lengths Tavern Jim and it's cruising at the moment, into second placing Amalind with Tavern Jim, now Deedle is starting to run home, then just a slasher, Deedle under the whip is starting to peg back Fine Row, she's coming home like a train. It's Fine Row, the leader. Deedle's grabbed it. Deedle races up on the outside and class will always prevail, most times anyway. It certainly has here. Well kept flashed up for second. Third is Fine Row. Fourth twig now, a big run. Then on assignment, a huge run. Then Tavern Jim Ace Fighter, followed by Catcher Gambler. Then just a slasher. Further back behind those came Vane Dudley. Then Dowie and Osprey Reef and Amalind has run last. Well, a big win here by number two, Deedle, who was the special from uh, our Adelaide boys on 3DB this morning. That's Deedle with the royal blue and the pink circles and cap charging past Fine Row. And it looks as though number six, well kept in the predominantly green colours. The black uh, stash there does get up for second. In fact, uh, number f uh, Fine Row might have even missed the place there, but that's very close, as called two, six and five in Adelaide. Incidentally, that minor protest in Sydney has been defeated. 125, Avon's Lord, 29.95, 930 the place. Six, Kenny Less, 280 and 115. Seven, Taj Quillo, the favourite, 235 and 95. Eight, Old Acquaintance, 1575, 405. Nine, French Conton, 1080 and 340. Ten, Aiming, 1140 and 290. Eleven, Miner's Man, $20.80. And uh, the only other two in the betting there are 16, Rebecca Gay on 660 the win and 17, Batan, 510 the win. We'll take a break as the runners go to the stalls for the feature race here today, the Marlborough Cup, and back live to Caulfield the other side of this break. Between ourselves goes into line now. Lord Galaxy behind the line, testimony being led forward, French Cotton. Now Avon's Lord, the rider's there, the horse is not, it's backing up to the stalls. Kenny Lass behind them with aiming. French Cotton in. Avon's Lord going up backwards. Oh, between ourselves, got through the stalls, but the boy very quickly had hold of it, and it only went 10 metres. Between ourselves, now about to walk back. He'll uh, probably be examined by the vet. He almost hurdled out of the stalls. He's broke the front of the gate, or not, when I say broke, it caused it to open, but he almost hurdled over the top of it. Big lump of a horse between ourselves. John Marshall from uh, New South Wales riding it today. Avon's Lord has the blindfold on, going in. Turnfield the inside, River Crossing, Avenotto, Taj Quillo, French Cotton, Aiming, Seeker Fortune, True Style. Now Avon's Lord has gone in, between ourselves, back behind the stalls. Rebecca Gay with a clerk of the course. Lord Galaxy still away with Kenny Lass, old acquaintance. Miner's Man, Luther's Luck, and Bataan. Now between ourselves comes in again. Goes in all right, Kenny Lass is ready and so too is Lord Galaxy. The last half dozen walking up. Luther's luck goes in. Miner's man about to follow it. Three-year-old Bataan led up by a clerk of the course. Now Gosford, would you please note Gosford is back 15 minutes. The next at Gosford back 15 minutes. The eighth is back 10 minutes. And the ninth is back 10 minutes at Gosford. And the last is also back 10 minutes at Gosford. Now Luther's luck has gone in. Miner's man. 
Standing just behind the line, he goes in now. So we wait on old acquaintance and Rebecca Gay. Both walking forward. As bright sunshine bathing the Caulfield track, old acquaintance is in and Rebecca Gay goes in, so they're set. Ready for the Marlborough Cup. Lights on, racing at the first attempt and got them away beautifully too. Taj Quillo and Lord Galaxy the first to get going. Uh, they were disputing the lead, settling down. Batan is up there and Testimony is going around the outside also to join a line of about six horses with Avon's Lord. Miner's Man is next and they were followed by Taj Quillo easing back on the inside of those horses now. True Style next two to Canny Lass, a length to Tone Phil followed by Between Ourselves. Then Old Acquaintance and back behind those horses then Seeker Fortune. Two lengths further back, Avenotto, Luther's Luck and uh, back to the rear aiming and Rebecca Gay back there also with French Cotton and River Crossing. Down down by the 800 they race a great battle Avon's Lord on the inside is just the leader now from Miner's Man and Bataan they're followed a length to Testimony and Lord Galaxy Taj Quillo is under the whip next they were followed by Old Acquaintance and Canny Lass is looking for a split in the centre of them and they were followed closely by Between Ourselves badly needing a run at this stage Old Acquaintance losing ground on the corner Avon's Lord the leader with Bataan joining it from Miner's Man then Taj Quillo and Canny Lass looking for a run from Lord Galaxy Testimony the outside at the 300 about five in line Canny Lass wending her way through as tackling Miner's Man and Bataan Canny Lass dashed to the lead Luther's Luck and Rebecca Gay running on and Taj Quillow getting a split but Canny Lass has taken the lead and the Bonnie Mares racing away to a big win Canny Lass three lengths to Taj Quillow Avenotto or Luther's Luck third just in front of Miner's Man and Rebecca Gay then Seeker Fortune next is River Crossing followed by Between Ourselves Bataan Old acquaintance behind them with Lord Galaxy and then Rebecca Gay, French Cotton and aiming True Style Tone Phil, then Testimony and Avon's Lord weakened to be near the rear. Number six is the winner. Number six, Canny Lass, ridden by Greg Hall. Number six, Canny Lass, Greg Hall is first. Number seven, Taj Quillo, C. Din was second. The judges call for a photo for third placing. It's very close. If anything, Luther's Luck might have got third on the outside. He has. Number two, Luther's Luck. P. Highland was third. So the numbers are six, seven, and two in the big race of the day, the Marlborough Cup. Taj Quillo was under the whip at the 800 metre mark. It was a strange one. He didn't seem to want to gallop. 95. And number two, Luther's Luck has got third out wide. $2.85. Lord Galaxy found them too good for him. Luther's Luck ran home well out wide and so did Rebecca Gay, which was a good run. Uh, between ourselves, a little bit disappointing. Miner's Man ran a, ran a gallant race, as did Avenotto, and Seeker Fortune wasn't so far away from them at the finish either. But Canny Lass, just too good in the Marlborough Cup. There's Greg Hall wielding the whip on Canny Lass. Would like the connections of Canny Lass to be there to lead her back to scale, please. There she is. He canted in last start. Certainly it was only a, a, a mare's race. But uh, the ease with which she won was remarkable. And uh, today she's repeated uh, that performance, winning in great style, and nothing is beyond her with the form that she's in at the moment. Kenny Lass, believe me. An outstanding performance. And uh, she's a very good mare. Taj Quillo, uh, Seemed to run a bit moodily today, but knuckled down to it in the straight, although Kenny Lass was much too good. And Luther's luck got up on the outside to run third in the event. Now, officially fourth, and they were spread right across the track, was Avenotto, and the fifth in the race was Miner's Man. The winner of the Marlborough Cup, number six.